Welcome everyone to the week six Hambone Fantasy Football Update. All right, week six. We are almost at the halfway point. Can you believe it? I sure can't. Well, let's get some highlights. Uh, first up, 20 minutes with Tebow, narrowly defeating Recyclops, destroy. 140 to 130. Uh, Tebow, of course, was led by um, uh, Ryan Tannehill, who had 364 yards and four big touchdowns. So uh, that and I think was, that scored him about 40 fantasy points. So fantastic job there. Uh, that puts uh, Tebow at four and two on the season, while Recyclops destroy uh, falls to three and three. So uh, congratulations to uh, Tebow. And then in our game of the week for this week, we had a, a matchup for the ages, at least so far this year. Um, Again, my jinxing kind of would have made it a, or it it, it, it uh, screwed it up from being a um, battle of undefeateds. But we still had Super Saucy Spaghetti coming out on top over Team Bears 1, 12 to 74. Not quite the uh, point barn burner we were hoping for, um, but still a fantastic matchup. Uh, will Fuller uh, uh, scored the points for uh, Spaghetti. Getting 24 points by way of six receptions, 123 yards, and a touchdown. So congratulations to them. That puts Spaghetti at uh, five and one in the season, uh, top of their division uh, in the uh, uh, Corvette division. And then Team Bears gets their first loss of the season, falling to five and one, and they're also leading their division as well. So. Um, uh, good job to them all for a great game. Looking into week seven, we have another fantastic matchup of division leaders. Uh, Super Saucy Spaghetti returns, uh, again being first in Cor the Corvette division, taking on the um, Nowhere Elder Dragons, who are tied for first place uh, in the Mustang division with a 4-2 and two record. So that ought to be a good game. Um, as we're getting deeper into the season, we're starting to see a little, a few more injuries. Uh, Lord knows we can't, you know, play a game of full contact football without some people getting COVID. So fancy that. But um, so be sure to look on, always looking at the waiver wire, looking at your own roster, and making sure people are prepared for, um, you know, all the uncertainty that is 2020. Um, and then. Actually, I had uh, I was just speaking to uh, Super Saucy Spaghetti. Uh, his name's Sam, and he made a suggestion for 2021. Uh, along with the current prize money that we're doing, or we're you know currently having the fifty dollars, um, perhaps making a side wager of you know five ten bucks a team, and just awarding that pot to the team that has high score for the season. And that can be across all the weeks, um, whether it be regular season or postseason. Just whoever has high score on a single week throughout the season uh, gets a pot of, of uh, 120 point, you know, dollars or whatnot. Just 10 bucks a head. Um, so that would be a neat thing. I've actually used it in other leagues. It's a lot of fun. Um, it keeps people motivated to, you know, field a roster all year round, even if they've been blown out. Um, because even if you're out of contention for the playoffs, you can still earn that money. So something to think about and uh, looking towards next year. But anyway, uh, that being said, everybody have a good week and we'll talk to you soon.